Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Terminology, a series where I hope you guys understand some of the terms in Final Fantasy XIV. So today we are going to be talking about the proc system. What is it and how does it work? So in Final Fantasy XIV, procs are basically the ability to trigger other abilities through certain abilities. Jobs such as Bard and Dancer work off the proc system. So, if we look at a Red Mage, Red Mage has what we call a dual cast proc, which means we'll trigger once we activate a certain spell. So we triggered the dual cast, which automatically allows us to use another spell automatically without cast time. Now, we're going to go out into the field and I'm going to demonstrate the other procs that Bard, Dancer, and Red Mages basically will be using. All right, so we're going to be using Bard as an example. Now, Bard has an ability called Heavy Shot, but it goes into Burst Shot at level 76. If you read the additional effects, a 35% chance of becoming Straighter Shot Ready, which will trigger or proc the effect of Refulgent Arrow, which can be used if you are Straighter Shot Ready. So as an example, as you can see, it did not work right away but on the third attempt it finally procced straighter shot ready and we can use refulgent arrow see as you cannot activate it because you need a proc from burst shots in order for it to work another example would be bard's songs which will automatically make bloodletter or reign of death recast timer recast faster so instead of doing it by 1, 2, 3, 4 seconds, it will do maybe 5 to 10 seconds recast timer because it is procking through the song itself. If you do Wonder's Minuet, if you watch the gauge, it has a chance of procking or triggering the secondary effect, which is going to be pitch perfect. This also goes for Army's Paeon, which will increase your skill speed based off the proc system of repertoire. So those are examples of proccing with a bard. Now the other way of proccing is to automatic proccing, which is also based off of some abilities like barrage. Barrage automatically allows you to trigger or proc straighter shot ready in order to use refulgent arrow. Other examples of this are red mages with acceleration. If you use for thunder three or for arrow three, will proc for fire or verse stone, respectively. Other examples of proccing will be Black Mage and White Mage. White Mage has a proc called uh, Free Cure on Cure 2. If you continuously cast Cure 1, I think this triggers in battle, so we're going to hit that real quick. As you can see here, Free Cure is now proc through Cure 1, so then you can use Cure 2 without using MP. That is another example of a proc. Another example is Black Mage's Thunder Spells. A Thunder Spell goes off, and as it ticks, there's a chance of triggering Thunder Cloud, which is the ability to use Thunder ability without a recast timer or NP. So those are examples of proccing in the battle content sense. Next, we're going to go to Gathering, because Gathering also has a proc in its kit as well. All right, so here we are in the open world with my gatherer. Please mind the uh, glamour. So with the gathering, we have an ability called Solid Reason or Ageless Words. This has a chance of triggering or proccing the ability of Wise to the World called Eureka Moment, which gives us an extra gathering attempt. So after draining the node and doing Solid Reason, we triggered Wise to the World and got a Eureka Moment proc. So now we can use it to gain an extra gathering attempt. Simple as that. Now, for crafting, you are going to require a soul stone or a soul of the crafter. You're also going to be needing what is called crafter delinations to use special abilities. It's called heart and soul. This is a automatic proc ability that will trigger the ability to use abilities such as intense synthesis, precise touch, because they are needed 
with good or excellent condition when crafting. So you are going to be using Heart and Soul as an example. You'll use the Crafter Donation, and this will automatically trigger Tricks of the Trade, Intensive Synthesis, and abilities like those will automatically be able to use because you procced using a, an auto proc ability. So those are examples of procking in crafting, gathering, and also battle jobs. So hopefully this helps you understand what procs are and how they work in Final Fantasy XIV. Just usually just look at the ability and if it says has a chance of triggering so and so, then that is going to be what is called a proc. Okay, so guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord server, you can do so by hitting the link in the about section down below or the YouTube banner with the walled icon. If you guys want to support my channel monetarily, I do have YouTube memberships available low as a dollar a month. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Always remember to keep forging ahead.